Hello, and welcome to this episode of Healing with Tony. Healing is a journey that we take, and we can seek healing for many reasons. Everything from physical, emotional, psychological, mental, financial, to many different areas of life. In the physical realm, we can seek healing from a broken bone to a, an ailment within us. And there are many different reasons why we would want to seek healing, not only because there's something wrong, but because we want something to be more right or to evolve further in this life. I am a very, very strong believer that if you are on a healing journey, and I believe our whole life is a healing journey, it's a journey of healing and learning and growing, evolving, that you seek out every method that you possibly can and work with them to get to where you want to be in your body, mind, and spirit. Now, I do believe in alternative modalities of healing. My friend Jimmy Mack is um, an amazing healer that does my liquid fish. I also do that. He was kind enough to teach me that. I'm a hypnotist. I do other energy healing modalities. But today we're going to focus on hypnosis and my very, very brave and absolutely amazing guest, Alisa, has volunteered to be hypnotized on air for you. So she is going to be going into a state of hypnosis and um, we are probably going to clear something away today. How do you feel about that? I feel great about that. There's a lot I feel needs to be cleared. It's been a while. Good, excellent. Now, is there a specific area you would like to work on today? We could work on um, Relationships, finances, career. Career and finances, I pretty much know how those are going. Uh, relationships would be nice, just in general, not just romantic part, but like all across the board. Okay. I think I need to get back to me. Okay, so there's two different things there. Um, you feel stuck in relationships? I feel stuck, period stuck oh well maybe we could let's do that let's work on that because okay. that one's making you emotional okay. <laughs> it's weird that I get excited when aren't I emotional <laughs> hanging out with you yes I always say if I don't make you cry I have not done my job <laughs> so. You've done your job and then 10 times yay. over yay me um no, seriously, we're going to do a hypnosis today on getting you unstuck. And I'm already starting to get a lot of visuals. Now, I want you to be running forward with everything that life has to offer you, not only in the area of relationships, but in the area of finances and career and, and love. So today I'm going to count you and we're going to do a progressive hypnosis session. And I am a certified hypnotist. I've been for years and years. I take continuing education, so I'm not just like uh, playing here. Yeah. I actually kind of know what I'm doing with you. And Alisa, you have had hypnosis in the past. I have so with you. E yeah. Every time you go in, you go a little bit deeper and you go into hypnosis a little bit more quickly. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to get started today and um, I can already see like shackles around your ankles and chains so we're that's going to be one of the first things we're going to release because i can tell like i'm seeing them so clearly it's crazy <laughs> so if you would like to um close your eyes okay <clears throat> and i want you to know that any noises you hear any noises at all will simply take you deeper and deeper into that state of hypnosis People talking, phones ringing, doors opening and closing will simply take you deeper and deeper down. In a moment, I'm going to count from three, 
down two one when I reach one you'll be in a very relaxed very comfortable state of hypnosis with each count you'll simply go a thousand times deeper as a matter of fact each and every time I count from three down two one with each count you'll simply go a thousand times deeper let's try that now just to see how it feels three two one beautiful now I'm going to count from three down to one again this time when I reach one we will heal release let go of anything stopping or blocking you from moving forward three two one we heal and release as you go deeper and deeper and deeper in and as you go deeper and deeper in I want you to know that each and every word I speak will simply take you allow you to drift further and further into relaxation I would like you to use your imagination now and I would like you to see yourself standing and the first area that I would like you to look at is your ankles and I would like you to notice or see if there are shackles and chains there in your mind in your imagination do you see that Yes. <laughs> now, on that person that you see, that ver version of you that you see with the shackles and the chains, there's a necklace around your neck and there's a key on it. I need that person in your imagination to take that key and unlock the shackles and walk away. She may have a question for you, something she needs to ask you, if she does, and you can answer that, please answer it. If not, let me know what the question is, and I'll help you answer it. But in the meantime, allow her to remove that necklace and unlock the shackles. Once that's done, just let me know. But take all the time you need. It's done. There's no question, though. Excellent. Perfect. Now, I need you to hold that person, and I need you to tell her that you love her. And I need you to tell her that none of this was her fault. She didn't do anything wrong. And as she, you do this, you're going to notice her evolving to your current age and look. I need you to tell her how amazing she is, how strong she is. And most of all, I need you to let her know that she is completely amazing. And once she has evolved to your current age and look, please let me know. but take all the time you need. And if she doesn't believe you, if she's not evolving, you need to look her in the eyes and you need to tell her this. And you need to make her understand that other people's actions are not her responsibility and they're not her fault. And once she is your current age, just please let me know. She's my age. 
Now I need you two to hug and merge into one. Okay, good. We're going to move forward now. And as you move forward, I want you to notice if there is a wall in front of you stopping you from going forward. No, it's a glass, like a glass door, like an office. Okay. Can you open the door? Mm -hmm. The door has been open. Oh, good. So we're walking away from this. We're walking out of this, correct? Yes. So let's walk out of this now. And as you walk out, I want you to know about 100 feet, there's a pole with a red button on it. And I need you to go up to that pole, and in a moment, you're going to press that red button. And when you do, that office, that glass room, is going to implode into dust, taking with it all that has caused it. So let me know when you get to the red button. Okay. And let's push that button. And okay. Excellent. And as the room implodes, all that has caused this dissolves, dissipates, and goes with it. And you're going to notice a light breeze that takes any remaining dust, any remaining bits or particles of this far, far away. Now I want you to notice there's a huge blackboard. And on this blackboard are descriptors or words. And these are past descriptors that you or other people have used to describe you. They're erroneous. Below the blackboard, there's a sponge-type mop and a huge bucket full of uh, water, uh, soapy water. I want you to dunk that mop, and I want you to clear all those words off of that blackboard. Just clean them all away. And as you do this, I want you to notice that in place of those old erroneous words are going to come the truth. Words like amazing, confident, loved. Make sure you get all of the old descriptors, false, inaccurate descriptors, off of that blackboard. And as you're doing that, I want you to know that wherever those came from, it was a place of falseness and insecurity. It was not true. So take all the time you need, and once all the old descriptors are gone, let me know. They're gone. Good. And all the new, accurate, true ones are coming in now. And as they come in, I want you to look off in your mind to your right. And I want you to notice there are new people, people you've not met before, people you've not known before stepping into your life now. Some of these are business associates. Some of them are new friends. But one of them is very special. One of them is someone that you will have a very special relationship with. I just want you to go up and stand in this energy. It's a new energy. It's a higher energy, if you will. And I want you to tell me, does this feel comfortable to you? It does. I want you to take a moment, just a quick moment, to tell everybody hi and how excited you are that they're going to be in your life. And you're ready to move forward now. And as you look down this new path, 
you see there are no blocks, nothing stopping you, or prohibiting you from moving forward. I want you to know that every day, in every way, everything is getting better and better. With each and every day, you're stronger, healthier, and happier. You move forward with confidence and love, knowing that every day, in every way, everything is getting better and better. In a moment, not quite yet, but in a moment, I'm going to count from one to five. When I reach five, you'll be right back here with me, feeling absolutely wonderful, very proud of all of the work that you've done here, knowing that there is nothing stopping you, nothing blocking you from moving forward in a very powerful way. One. Your awareness is coming back to the room now. Two. Your awareness is coming back to your body as your body starts to wake up. Three. Stretching out your arms and your legs as your eyes start to open. <clears throat> Four. Eyes completely opening. <laughs> Five eyes wide open, wide awake, back here with me. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Good. How was that? It was good. Excellent. So a lot of people watching may have never experienced hypnosis in the past. I would like you just to briefly say what that felt like. Was it like a state of sleep? Was it like a dream? Um, for me, doing hypnosis, and I've seen you do it on another person too, my mother, she goes really deep and she's like, she explained it to me. She was, she felt like she was dreaming, like living out a dream. Yeah. Um, and for me, it's more of kind of like a, a day nap or something, you yes. know, like you're daydreaming, but you're still there. Um, but when you're telling me to visualize things, then because I'm a creative person too, my mind does visualize those things. Where for her, you said, I need you to visualize, and boom, she was doing yeah. like clockwork. Her yes. subconscious just made it happen. Where mine is, my subconscious and you and I and my subconscious play a little dance and we make it happen. And so mine isn't as deep as hers, but it's kind of more like a light daydream where hers is yeah. a deep slumber. And I will tell you, I'm going to say it doesn't matter how deep you go, it matters how determined you are. Like hypnosis works on what you want. I could right. never hypnotize somebody for something they don't want. Mm -hmm. But if it's something you want, it's going to be very powerful, it's going to be very effective, and it is going to help you. It feels like a therapy session in a way. Yeah, absolutely. But I don't have to talk. You're yeah, that's helping okay. me through it because you... But we've already discussed where my things are lying. Right. And so you're pinpointing those and helping guide me through it. And all the feelings I feel while I'm in that light daydream are very warm and positive. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And one of the most beautiful things is that session was probably less than 10 minutes. Yeah, which is unusual. Yeah, because <laughs> usually I take somebody in and it's It takes 10 minutes to go in sometimes. Yes, it's progressive. We're going deeper and deeper and deeper and yeah. really working out a lot of details. But on air and for the sake of the time of this show, it shows that you can go in, get it, and get out too. Right. Like get that one or two things that really need to be done, done. Now, another thing about hypnosis is you're the one doing the work. I'm the coach. I'm putting you in the game, letting you take charge and, and do the things that you need to do to get there. You have to let yourself be open because we're the only ones who can block it. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So if you're getting a session, you really want to be ready for that and you want to be in that space where you're ready to let go of 
although I've had people who were not ready to let go of things, they were a little bit hesitant or afraid to let something go, but with hypnosis, they were able to just beautifully let it go and, and move on in their life. Yeah. So that's really important too. Now the other thing I want to say, like when you're in and you're releasing the, the opening the locks, can you feel that? Are you? Well, I don't know if you noticed, but my eyes were closed, but I was still tearing and showing yes. emotion during the time period. So yes, it's absolutely emotional while yeah. you're doing those things. Because, and, and the one thing that I want to stress that I cannot stress enough is that some of these things that we're releasing were caused by something emotional, were caused by a past hurt or a past experience that has not yet healed. Now, I, you know, talk therapy for some people, it's amazing and it's good and it, and it works for some people, but it, it lets you talk about a situation and talking about a situation doesn't always heal it. Where going in and doing this work, I've, I cannot tell you the number of people that have told me, I've been in talk therapy for 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, and one session with you was more effective than that you know, all, all of my talk therapy put together because they actually went in and did some work on it, re let something I've go. I've done through. talk therapy my whole life, and I met you three years ago, and I've never been to therapy since Isn't I come that? to you. Yay! <laughs> because I, I just, do believe in it, and I believe in yeah. you. And it does make a difference when you're... The difference between just talking about something and fixing it, monumental. Yeah. Monumental. I mean... Talk therapy, of course, has its place, and it's, it's, it's good to a certain extent. But if you can get in there and release the emotions involved, release the incident, that You're is... You're forcing us to do work on ourselves in the moment. Forcing, where, helping. Not for, I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean for ourselves. So I'm, right. I don't have a choice if I want to feel better. Like, you're helping me feel better and you're bringing that out of me. So I'm forcing myself, whether I want to or not, right. to do the work in the moment where if you go to a therapist, you can choose to do the work or not when you leave that room. Yeah. That's, what, that's what I meant. Exactly. Thank you. Sorry. Thank you. No, no, yeah. it's okay. It's, it's okay. Um, so the, the other thing that I would want to touch on is, you know, having you and the person in shackles merge as one. When we go through an emotional trauma, there is a part of us that can get stuck at that point and that age and feel trapped and we can't move forward from it until we release that and we allow that movement forward. So in having that happen during a session, you're really embracing and being able to allow that part of you to get out of that trap, grow up, and then move on yeah. Healthfully, and in the past we've done this. It's we've easier to have the self-negative talk to yourself than to do all the warm and nice and sweet, say those sweet things to yourself. Like you said, now I want you to say this and this to yourself. Yeah. Well, it's so much easier to be in the comfort zone and just, exactly. oh, you're, you haven't done a good enough job or, yeah. you know, beat yourself up emotionally. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, and that's how we get stuck, too. Like we blame our thing, we blame ourselves <laughs> for things that happen to us or things that other yeah. people do to us, especially if we're a child when it happens. We instinctively and automatically, especially children, believe everything is their fault, that they were naughty, they were bad. And so helping them going in as the adult and telling them you weren't wrong, you didn't do anything wrong, and helping that part of you uh, join you today or mm -hmm. getting, getting that validation, hearing the things we wish we would have heard at that point is so, so important. Right. So Because the adult me sees different and the yes. child me didn't know any different because they hadn't lived enough life. It, oh my gosh, yeah. That, that, that little five-year-old or six-year-old, they had no idea. Mm -hmm. They only knew what they knew. So the adult can absolutely come in and uh, say, no, you were good. Yeah. And I love you. And you're, you're awesome. So I think that's, that's such a powerful 
experience to have in a state of hypnosis or in any state, any state at all. Absolutely one of the most powerful things you can do to uh, help yourself progress and evolve and let go of past hurts and incidents is you are one brave person, by the way, to come on and <laughs> <laughs> allow me to hypnotize you and allow me to help you uh, move forward from any area of being stuck. So I never lived you. in denial about what I would like to work on or become better at or so. Yeah, which is... Thank you. Oh, <laughs> you know what, it's such an We're honor. We're a good team. Yes, absolutely. And it's an honor for me and a blessing to be able to help people and especially you because I know you're such an amazing woman and you're kind and you're loving and I cannot stress how much I love when people want to heal things that have happened to them and they get to shine and know how just magnificent they are and you truly are just such a magnific magnificent person and such an amazing person thank you. and um and thank you thank you so much see it's even hard to hear from other people let alone telling right? yourself <laughs> it is it is but you truly are you're on so many levels in so many ways you are just such a good person and so amazing and kind and loving and just want to help other people too so to me if I can help you see that in you that's everything to me but more importantly it's absolutely everything to you so I don't let others help me very often but you're one of them so, so th well I'm honored to be that person for you I absolutely am I am so Thank you, Elisa, Thanks for, for having being me here. It's absolutely and my pleasure. Absolutely. And thank you for joining us today. If you would like, you can re-watch this episode and sit back and lie back and join in on the hypnosis if you feel like it might be helpful for you. Past episodes have featured other hypnosises that have worked on other areas. So go back and watch the other episodes also of Healing with Tony that will help you in whatever way they can help you. And I believe we're here to grow and to thrive and to have lives that are amazing without being blocked. So please, you can reach out to me or somebody who is certified and trained in your area and just start evolving in that way that you would like to evolve. Thanks again for watching this episode. Until the next one, have an absolutely amazing day.